Hi everyone, my name is Mitali Sharma. I head the Risk Compliance and Information Security for SDG Corporation. I think you know, year uh, last eighteen months or so, they have been uh, a, a area where uh, every organization had to focus on business continuity. Uh, with the pandemic, uh, be, I mean, with all the pandemic that came into picture, uh, the pandemic struck us. Uh, it was very important that all of us. Start working from an from a on prem location to a remote working, and this transition meant that every organization needed to have a proper business continuity plan in place, and that was what we also did. We had our uh, business continuity process in place. Uh, we invoked BCP. Uh, we involved different different stakeholders. We had our own functional teams, and we were able to move from a on prem location to a remote working in, uh, environment in in about two to three weeks. With all the security tools implemented, um, the reason was that we had our BCP plans in place. Uh, we had been doing continuous testing of them, and that's the reason why we were able to move from that place to to a remote working environment in a very short time span. Um, so while we did that, I think one of the key things that came into picture was that our customers uh, were very happy the way we took BCP and the way we were strengthening our our technologies, our security posture. Uh, they were very happy with that, and as a result, we started getting engagements. Customers started asking us to come and you know uh, start taking care of their securities, their compliances, and that's how we transformed from just an investment to a more uh, organization which was a billable organization. So my practice became more of a billable uh, engagement, and we we started doing a lot of customer engagements. We started doing compliance compliance as a service for a lot of customers. And that's uh, that's where our business model changed. So uh, we took care of our own own compliances as well as compliances for the customers. A lot of organizations, and including our organization, the uh, digital transformation or uh, you know the journey towards cloud security. That's something uh, which is a priority for the organization. Uh, looking at you know doing a risk assessment of the organization, looking at all the aspects. Uh, the areas which need to move to cloud, uh, we are looking at uh, transforming a lot of things onto the cloud. Uh, we we are already on cloud, but then I think that is something which has accelerated, something which was planned in in say one year or so. Uh, that that time span has reduced, and that uh, that journey has accelerated. And uh, for us, the focus would be more towards moving a lot of things on cloud, uh, ensuring that it is secure. So uh, cloud security. And then you know, uh, looking at other areas such as uh, uh, automating our cybersecurity posture, automating our cybersecurity operations. Ransomware attacks have been uh, there; they have accelerated, they have increased over the last couple of years. You would see a lot of data breaches there happening. So I think, uh, uh, as an industry, I feel uh, one uh, organizations need to look at the data security aspect. We need to ensure. That uh, you know the data that we are carrying. What is the data that we have? What is its confidentiality? Uh, what is its classification? How are we securing that data? Uh, one that would be important. Second, uh, ensuring that your employees are trained. Employees know what to do uh, in case they are uh, they are hacked or in case their systems are compromised. They should be the custodians of information security. So continuous and rigorous training of employees, uh, doing mock drills with them. Uh, doing phishing simulations with them, I think that will be critical. Uh, ensuring that your business continuity plans, your incident response plans, they are up to date. Uh, they are tested in a timely manner. Uh, you're making sure that you're updating it based on the changing threat landscape of your environment. Uh, having security tools and right implementations in place. Uh, sometimes you know people implement security tools, but then uh, the configurations are not correct. They do they have not defined rule sets. So. I think it will be very important to ensure that you have risk-based assessment and risk-based uh, mitigation controls in place, which would be in the form of security tools, tools, process, processes, people uh, having that right skill set in place, uh, and ensuring that you know uh, you have a cyber resilience plan in place. So you you know that uh, you will be compromised in in some time, or you are already compromised and you don't know about it. These are the two things that can happen. So. Uh, primarily, you should have uh, plans in place to ensure that if something happens, what will be my contingency plan, and how do I keep come back uh, to to normal state and be resilient? And then, uh, whatever elements are there on cloud, 
uh, there'll be more which will go towards cloud. How do you ensure that they are all secure? Uh, apart from this, uh, AI, ML, and technologies like uh, you know automating your cybersecurity operations that would be something which will definitely be in in thing or the top priorities in the next in the coming few years. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.